God damn Yo, DJ. <laughs> bro. Did you order frozen catfish? Bro, what is this? Yeah. I thought crazy, we were right? looking at some shoes. Well, apparently. Is this a refrigerator? <laughs> apparently, this is it. Okay. This is the Louis Vuitton Nike Air Force One. Okay. From the Sotheby's auction. Okay. So it's all zip tied all right. up. We got. I got the knife still like... here. I know you said we needed that from earlier. Yeah, I mean. So well, this is how it comes in the mail. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me try to open this up real quick. All right, there we go. Oh wow! I'm excited. Never seen anything like this. Oh man, bruh, we got a box in a bag. And it's not even, okay. This is gonna be a lot. Let's crack this open and see what we got, bruh. Which, uh, which one is this? The auction one? This I've seen the there's like beast. so many different yeah. ones on the internet. No, you, this you, is the one that was made exclusively for Sotheby's auction house. Okay, so that's the brown one. It's pretty crazy. So I got the phone. Okay, I'll let you hold this. I mean, obviously, you know, like these things were going for. I think the the highest one sold was uh, over three hundred fifty thousand. All right, hold on. Let's get let's let the people see this like, real so quick. So they all had a bunch of different numbers, but wow. So inside the box right here is another box. We got a bag. We got a box in a bag. This is a box in a box. Where we going so far? So this is all just padding. Looks like. So we're gonna get this out real quick, and then try to get it more clean for out. We gotta do this on the ground. It's gonna be a lot, bro. Damn. How do you even get this out? There we go. Okay. Cue the Lion King music. Wow. <laughs> All right. So we got another box inside of a box that was in a box that was in a bag. <laughs> We're getting closer to the shoe. Hold on, let them see this you angle right here. Up and see that. Yeah. It's actually amazing packaging. Okay. So is there anything inside of these little boxes or anything? Or is it just all inside no, of here? No, this is, looks like this is it. Okay, so let's pull this out. What in the world? Okay. So this is your typical LV box that you get. Uh, you know, if you're to buy like a duffel bag or something like that from the store, you typically yeah. get a box like this. So this in particular, nothing special. No, no. Everything's special. mainly in special just in here. This. This is a normal bag you would get if you were to this go shopping. This is a normal bag if you, whatever okay. you get. There's another shop, there's a shopping bag in here too. You can take the full shopping experience. Oh wow, they actually put a shopping <laughs> bag in there. That's funny. Okay. So we got a shopping bag, a, a box like, like classic fashion with LV. Oh wow. And this is a dust bag. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it is. Okay. This is, this is, this is the one. All right, bro, this is. Wow. So personally, I have a lot of like Louis Vuitton. I know this, balls. I know this. I know, we're all like low key speeches right now. So you have I an mean, all over print, classic. What do you call this, the monogram print? Yeah, this is uh, the monogram. The, cl the classic monogram print. You got yeah. the little edges on here, the protector edges. Well, Virgil did uh, the orange at the, at the, um, it was like a pop-up in mm -hmm. Chicago when when they did a big event at the MCA mm -hmm. uh, Museum. This is crazy, bro. I actually, okay, I actually, <laughs> I actually have something that you know that that you know goes with this. Like what? It's pretty cool. There's a piece I have that's very rare. They only made like one in each size. Okay. And it actually utilizes the same leather. Do you have it here? We'll pop it out later. Okay. We'll, we'll look so for we that need, later. We'll look we for that. To to we got to get closer to the shoe. This is not like a ten thousand dollar box. Right. This is more so in the like the twenty thirty thousand dollar range. Just for the the retail. case that holds the shoes. So you got possibly gotta, more because it's like it looks like it's full leather. That's crazy. Not the like just canvas that they normally do. So you have all of the all the components are leather and it looks like all oh, of the uh, matte white right here. This you push wow. it in like that. That yeah. releases it. Well, oh, we done, we done unlatched it now. Yeah, let's show, well, let's just, <laughs> you go, go ahead and hit right. that side. Okay. Where are we at? Right here? Yeah, just slide it in right, towards there we the middle. Go. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think you want to so get up and peel this out a little bit. So does it slide out? Wow, you see that Nike Louis Vuitton right there? What's it say? Wow. Oh, right here. Yeah, wow. The details? 
<laughs> okay. The box to me is, is oh, it's a, it looks like a drawer. Okay, so we're gonna pull it out this way. This is a first time for everything, right? You don't know how to open these things up. Okay, so let's let's make sure this is safe somewhere. We, we'll set oh, this. Oh wow, I'm I'm actually very thrilled. You know why? <laughs> because my name is on a card. No, it's not. That's you. Yes, sir. I know you. I am you. You and me. <laughs> Dude, okay, I well, it. I'll let you do the honors then, bro. Wow. He's different. <laughs> he is different. Wow. <laughs> this is what I'm is actually, this? Not, this actually made me very happy. Like, is I this like a know. frame holder for it, too? I didn't even know that. I think this is like a frame for it. Wow. Yeah, for sure. Look at that. Wow. What is that, velvet? <laughs> what is that, velvet? <laughs> we got more of that. Oh, bro. All right, let's get into this part right here. This, we got to take it slow. We got to say, oh, gloves. We can't forget the gloves, bro. I feel like we're getting to the point where we need the gloves. White gloves. White gloves. Hold on. All right, let's get these gloves on, bro. What you give me, a medium? I know you gave me a medium. You know I need a 2X, bro. You know, one size fits all. I guess you gotta, <laughs> you know, make do with, uh, you know, <laughs> what you have here. And they're supreme. Just gotta flex that one more time. That's crazy. You about to frame that, put it on the wall uh, or I'm, something? Dude, that's, that's sick, right? That's crazy. I mean, look at that, it just fit, it fits like, Perfect. Okay, so this also is not a part of the case, but the handle's on here, right? So I guess it is a part of the case. This is like just a shroud around yeah, like, it. Like I said, and this, you got the handle here. It's full leather. This whole so casing all the, is all leather. Anything that's all leather is literally double the, like what uh, a canvas, right? Like monogram. You know the mm -hmm. typical that brown bag, like all the women have, and right? Stuff right. Like that, that. It's actually canvas mm -hmm. with leather trim. It's not all leather. Gotcha. Like the brown monogram part is just canvas coated with. So plastic. literally just this orange premium this leather is all alone. Leather. Look at the inside. Everything. Yes. This is crazy, bro. We gotta. Get, I know they're waiting the to see the shoe, the but yeah, this know. is this is wild. So they, I think I'm gonna have to up it. Like the case is at least alone, probably like maybe like 35. So, okay, so we'll talk about prices a little bit later in the video. We gotta get into the details of the shoe first. But yes, I think all these little things, like look at this stuff. You got the plastic bag right here. So talk about this real quick. We got kind of a sail colored lace. It says lace -it, not laces yeah. or shoelaces. This is like fancy off-white. Well, yeah, because I believe that's Bourgeois. in French, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got another, what's this like a little duffel bag tag? With the Nike swoosh on it? Yeah, this is a little, little buckle. This is a little tag you can uh, stick on to the uh, Louis Vuitton Paris. Wow. So this amazing. goes onto there. And then it's yeah. got the LV print on the back of the you tag. You know what's really as well. quick, sick is that this swoosh right here. I know, bro. That is so fire. That's an ultimate flex a, if yeah, you're just we, walking down the street like, oh yeah, I got the. Uh. It probably wouldn't be a good idea either. Right. Have. Let's see if there's anything else. Bro, what is it? They got it quilted in here. Take a look at this. There's a divider. You have a, a quilted like wow, it's, I mean, it's great material. This, yeah. So this is literally ultimate. I don't think I've ever seen any packaging or presentation, anything better than this ever. <laughs> when it comes to any shoe I've ever unboxed ever in life or seen. Yeah, this is definitely the-, the One of the cream of the crop, creme de la creme, all that different stuff. So tags. Nike Louis Vuitton Air right here. And this, looks like dust this, bags. Is the, this is the tag that's on the shoes, mm -hmm. I believe. As, I mean, it looks like on picks, but. Okay, I, I got my hand on it right now. I don't know if, you ready for this? Pull it out. <laughs> bro, we need to have a, wow. this is rated R, bro. Everything that we're, if we take all this out of context. Bro. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on, let me pull this wow. out. Like, dude, these are crazier than, than I imagined in person. Like, picks do not do them justice. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. No, all right. Do not do them justice. Mm, he gets his. You got to do that, Smoke. Wow. It smells good. <laughs> so, like typical fashion on the DNA show, we like to start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up. So, I'll go with the outsole first. And as you guys can see right here, you have your classic Air Force One outsole, all brown vibes, super chocolatey looking. Oh, so nice. It's really, it's just all, it's just Air Force One outsole. We're not gonna gas it up that looks much. Looks like the perfect brown right but out it's of the two, 2002. Yes, fresh out of 2002. So on the midsole right here, you have that sail color with the off-white Air classic branding right here, and then your classic Nike Air here on the sides. Now, I usually say the upper, oh, the upper, but the upper has so many details. We need to slowly break down all of these aspects of the shoe. So I'm gonna let you start from the toe and what kind of work your way back and talk about the different materials and how they approached the execution on the leathers 
and what they did when it comes to that. This is not necessarily the traditional Louis Vuitton um, monogram. It looks like they made it smaller. Yeah, a lot smaller. So that way you can fit more of it mm -hmm. into the each panel, mm -hmm. which does look amazing. And then when you look at the top of the toe box right well, here the top on the, of the vamp, toe box, you got this, that Damier print. This is the Damier print. And then we have that also on the swoosh and then on the back end right here around the tab area. And then on here, it's got, looks and like Louis Vuitton, Paris, and gold. Is it say the same thing on here? On the back end? Yes, it does. Okay. So Just you guys like will see that all in the B-roll and everything but as well. But the cool thing about this is they have the uh, the natural leather uh, trim mm -hmm. going around it. So with age, this will have like a patina on it. Ah. So you know how the handles they yep, wear? Yep, yep, and they yep. look kind of darker. So these naturally will start to get the uh, And that's pretty much patina. all throughout the upper besides the back hit right here um, on the heel. But everything else kind of has that tan liner around it when it comes to the vamp, the toe box, around the eyelet area, and the back end around here. And even the little uh, off-white tab is made out of leather. Off-white tab with the black right here. Instead of the, the little nylon. And they actually did, they stitched it underneath the swoosh compared to typically you have that zigzag stitch that you would get on top of the mm -hmm. swoosh. How, how it always have that, that classic off-white branding that we see. So it still has it, but it's a more premium, clean kind of cut to it. And it looks like we have another difference right here. Off-white right here, and then it says Beaverton, Oregon. Oregon and everything. So typically it says Off-white for Beaverton, Oregon and everything. But this time so it says Louis, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton for Nike, right? And it does say Beaverton, Oregon And then it has, as well. also it has Beaverton, Oregon just below that. So going into the tongue, you're gonna have the same type of materials as you see around the eyelid area and around the toe cap area. And it's that premium brown leather with that classic monogram print. We have a premium lace, um, looks like, these are essentially the same laces that we saw in the bag. Yes. Same color and everything. Same color, same other. So one. just double set of laces on that. And then on here, you got your off-white branding on the side of the tongue. We have seen this on multiple off-white sneakers, uh, especially on, what is that, the off-white Jordan 1? The tongue on there, we've mm -hmm. seen it on there. So it says Louis Vuitton Air right here with the Nike swoosh. And then just behind that, what do we have right here? Made in Italy. And then it has the size and everything. And that's like shoe. a that's a serial number too. That so typically all authentic Louis Vuitton shoes. Uh, okay. Sorry, Louis Vuitton shoes and the bags gotcha. will have a secret little panel somewhere in a pocket or somewhere mm -hmm. else with the little gold uh, stamped okay. uh, serial number. Okay. And then on the insoles right here and the sock liner, you have a kind of tan sock liner right here. Mm -hmm. And then on the insoles right here. You have the Louis Vuitton with the Nike. We'll make sure we pull these out for you guys as well. And I heard there was a special secret behind here. We'll see if there is something. Oh, wow. So on the back end, underneath the insole right here, you have Louis Vuitton and I think that says Paris. You got the little logo right here. And then on the inside, wow. look at that detail. That's crazy. All over LV print as well just below that. So attention to detail, execution, materials, concept, packaging, price, every single thing is gonna be at the highest level when it comes to that. So that brings my next question for you. Is this essentially like the greatest shoe ever? Is this like the top of the, th top of the line? <sighs> is this that nothing can pass this? Or is this just like, we're gonna put it up there as a goat and there's gonna be other goats because you know if has Air Mags, different sneakers like that, right? So I wanna say, and I'll say this, this is the definitely the greatest collab. Greatest collab. I can understand. Greatest that. collab I can that. sneaker ever. So just the whole goats. collection alone is gonna be crazy. Even the lower well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. pa priced pairs are gonna be I mean, obviously, but this, is, this is obviously the best one. What do you think the lower priced pairs will go for? <sighs> Retail's two thousand dollars. Tough to say. I, I think- 20,000, uh, 15, 25,000 for those cheapest ones? Probably like 20 to 30. Right. And then you have ones like this that can be 200, 300, $400,000 and who knows what this shoe could be worth someday. Eventually this could be something incredible. This so, could be- I mean, it's already incredible. Right. <laughs> you know, we, we Imagine actually- Imagine 10 years from now when somebody pulls this out of a vault and it's like, Wow, this is gonna be a literally a piece of art. Like, well, I yeah, think we, I this mean, is a prime example of showing people like, hey, sneakers are more than just sneakers at this point. These are collectibles, these are arts. This is stuff that you're literally displaying I mean, we paid on your over wall. six figures to get your name on a card and have Louis Vuitton hand make your Nike Air Force One. 
That to me is incredible. Right. What do you guys think about these down below in the comment section? I also posted a fire or trash on my story to see what everybody else thinks. Here are the results just Go beside us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be crazy, bro. We got the results right here. Obviously, as you can see, unanimous decision. Everybody is loving this shoe. Again, not everybody's gonna love this shoe, I get that. But the question is, are you willing to drop six figures on a sneaker like this? I could ask him because he already said, yeah, he different though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you said you had another surprise for me with this, right? Don't we gotta go somewhere? Oh yeah. He didn't, we didn't talk about that earlier. Do you want me to bring that over here? What, what are we gonna do about that? We got, you said you had something for this and we was gonna check these out, comparison. Right back. Okay, give us a second. TV timeout, I'll see you guys after this ad. Bro, what is this? <laughs> so, we just needed to show you a couple things. Okay, yes, let's see. What is this right here? Is this a purse? A man purse? Yeah, Yes. for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can see it comes with that same orange leather. So this didn't like coincide during the release or anything. It just happened to be like all a part of just happening. This came, or... Yeah, this is part of that collection that came out okay. in Chicago only. Oh, so this was the Chicago collection. And with this crazy jacket. The jacket. And you said there was only, what was this? They only made one in each size apparently. Okay. No half sizes? In orange. No half sizes? Yeah, no half sizes. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to get the medium. It didn't work. I guess. <laughs> so did you wear this? Never. Okay. Tags attached. What is a what? What would be a, a value on a bag and a jacket like this? I don't know. I would say this is worth probably like 20 G's at least. 20 bands for the jacket. What about the box? Six. Six bands for the box. This one's like 20 or 30. Shoes. I don't even know. We're talking about a whole house right here with a box, a jacket, and some shoes. We need. We don't even got no pants. We can't even put a whole outfit together. We gotta spend yeah. money in the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.